Once in the forest you'll find a fabulous banquet, a fairy wall. If you close your eyes and you open your mind, the veil disappears and you'll see it all. Hi my angels, it's Hayley Reese and today's video is going to be um, one of the first in a while recent personal paranormal type experiences that I've been experiencing and going through and it is probably going to sound extremely unbelievable to you it's probably gonna sound like something that would be from some sort of movie or film but I can assure you that this is 100% what I believe to be going on this is 100% what I've been going through and it's extremely extremely creepy Today's video is going to be me basically talking about the fact that I truly believe somebody was coming into my home and my space via astral projection in the night and with some sort of like darker purpose behind it. And it sounds so crazy. Like every single time I say it out loud or I think about it, I'm like, Haley, you are totally insane, but when I start from the beginning and I get to where I'm at now, I think you guys might actually believe me. Now, I've done an entire video on astral projection and out-of-body experiences and the astral realm and the different dimensions. I will have a link to that video at the top of my description. If you have yet to watch that video and you're new to my channel, definitely go ahead and check out that video so you understand what exactly astral projection is because I'm not going to go too deep into detail on that in this video just because I have talked about it before, but I have a video on it. You can definitely check it out and, um, and then maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about a little bit better. So as you guys know, if you're familiar with astral projection, it is essentially where you can either intentionally or unintentionally leave your physical body and travel into the astral realms. Now there are differences between it. They say that astral projection is right into different dimensions. They say that it's more of an outer body experience if you're able to be within this current dimension. Either way, you are able to travel into this dimension, into our physical realm in actual time. Now, people have used astral projection in the past to spy on people. People who are very, very good at astral projection and have practiced it as like a craft and really, really work hard towards it are able to control it enough and really and truly tap into this physical dimension outside of their body. They can possess the ability to travel to places in real time. What I mean by this is they are able to, let's say, fall asleep and train themselves to travel out of their body and head to a place in this current dimension in the current time. Now, spying on people with this tactic is extremely bad karma. Um, you will definitely suffer consequences for invading people's space and privacy, and especially if you have any sort of malicious intent. It will come back to you 10 times harder. You will attract negative entities, you will attract negativity around you, and it just overall brings on a lot of negativity around you. But that doesn't mean that people don't do it. There are, there are people who have astral projected with negative intentions in mind, either for the gain of wealth, for the gain of you know, knowledge that they're not supposed to have, or for other darker, more twisted and malicious reasonings. So I've actually experienced this for a while, but I never really put a face to it until recently. And that would make sense in a moment. I know that sounds so crazy or you don't even understand what I'm talking about, but believe me, you will once I get into it. So ever since I moved into my new condo, I haven't really experienced any sort of paranormal activity other than that night that that whole Dear David thing happened and it was just really, really scary. Other than that, my condo feels like a very clean energy and a safe space. One thing that I started to experience though, right when I moved in, was I would wake up in the night and I would see a man either laying in my bed next to me, standing in my room, or just around in my space. And it would startle me and when I would flick the light on, nobody would be there. I always attributed it to being in a half asleep, half awake state seeing something that wasn't there and when I turned on the light it was gone or perhaps there had been some sort of spirit that was attracted, things like that. But I never really pieced it that it could actually be somebody traveling from their sleeping body 
out of it and into my space for whatever reason. I didn't really see a reason that anybody would want to do that. I didn't really think that anybody would. And honestly, it just sounded plain crazy when I, when I thought that thought. So I never thought of that. So for the first little while of me living in this condo, I know I haven't lived here too long, but for the first little while, meaning the first few weeks, I would just see this person on occasion, maybe like one or two nights a week in my room and it would start on me. Like I said, I would flick the light on and nothing would be there, but this person never said or did anything. It just never happened. So like I said, I went on just thinking that it was just some sort of strange thing that was going on. I mean, at the same time that I do experience a lot of paranormal activity, I talk about it a lot. So I can and probably do spook myself, even if I don't feel scared, maybe in my sleep. I don't know. I just didn't attribute it to anything that was out of the ordinary until I started to wake up to this person in my room, either sitting on my bed or sitting like somewhere in my room. And this person was repeating like certain sentences and I would wake up and the sentences would stop. I would flick on the lights and I wouldn't see it. Until one day I sensed like this presence while I was half asleep and I listened and I heard something along the lines of like that I need to stop doing my YouTube channel and like stop putting like white light into people and things like that. And I woke up, I flicked on the light and nothing was there. And I was like, okay, that's really, really strange. Why would I be dreaming in a half asleep state that something is trying to convince me while I'm asleep and put words into my ears to stop making YouTube videos and to stop spreading white light and putting white light into people. It specifically said that I needed to stop putting white light into the world, essentially. So that really freaked me out. And once I had heard that, I actually didn't see this person in my room for a while. But that was when I started to realize it was always the same face and the same male that was doing this. Like it wasn't like I was dreaming of different people doing this. It was the exact same face every single time. And then I received an email from a Reese's Pieces who essentially communicates with her spirit guides and, um, and they pass on messages of like light and love to her on how she can help people all across the world. And she said that she was getting a message that somebody was traveling through the astral realm into my space in order to put fear in me and in order to stop me from like making a positive change and difference that I'm making now. And the email went into a lot more details and there was a lot said and I still haven't even replied to her because it was just so spot on to like what I have been kind of thinking but I thought that it sounded absolutely insane. And so, and so suddenly I started to like reevaluate, like what would this person be doing? Well, while I'm sleeping, if they travel into the astral realm and they come into my space, they could be subconsciously reaching my sub, or sorry, they could be reaching my subconscious by putting like messages into my ears and things like that while I'm asleep. It seems a little bit silly to me because it's not going to stop me from doing what I do. Like this is my love. YouTube is like what motivates me every single day to get up and do things and to work on my, my greater goals and dreams and accomplishments and you know to be alongside this family that is something that I will never ever ever even remotely consider giving up and to not spread a message of light and love just isn't who I am as a person because whether or not I were creating content I would still be trying to do that day to day just in my everyday encounters with people. So I went ahead and I started to really take out my crystals, my ones of protection and things like that. And I really, really focused on putting out into my space that nobody was allowed to enter my space in any realm, in any tactic, in any way, shape or form without my consent. And I protected my, my space with a white light and I really, really focused on putting out there, telling my spirit guides, telling my space, nobody is to enter. And that was when I haven't been visited by this thing since. Now, could it all be coincidental? For sure it could be. I mean, I'm not somebody who is completely, you know, dead set on what I think is right and it must be somebody coming and doing this. It just seems so strange to me that I had already been thinking like, this is really weird that it's always like the same face and this is really weird that that's what I heard it saying and this is really strange that when I put the lights on, it's not there. And then for somebody to message me saying that they believe that that's what's happening and that it's, it's much worse than it even seems to me that there's something darker controlling this person that wants to basically put a stop to me essentially. <laughs> like I just said, it sounds like a movie. It literally sounds like I'm like writing a movie script right here and it sounds insane. Um, but I just want to talk about it because it's so weird. And the crazy thing is you guys, like this is not like 
so far-fetched. I mean, to me, it's far-fetched that somebody would take the time to want to come here and to want to stop me creating YouTube videos for whatever reason. But people really do use astral projection and out-of-body experiences. And some people can even still be within their physical body, but mentally, they can take themselves there and, and essentially spy on people in attempt to cause some sort of harm. Like I said, it doesn't bring them anything good, but if they're already messing with dark negative things, they don't really care. It's not that far-fetched of an idea because that really happens and that really exists. It's just so weird to me that that would ever happen to me. So I'm kind of like on the fence of, is it really what happened? Is that why it stopped now? Or is it just that I was having these strange dreams? I really don't know what to think of it all. I guess that's kind of why I'm coming on here and sharing it with you guys to see what you think. If you think it's an absolutely insane idea that that could have been what was happening. Or if you think it's plausible. Or if you think that I'm just overthinking it and that that email was just strictly coincidental. But if you are the person who emailed me that and that's what you heard it resonated with me and the whole email meant a lot to me actually there was a lot of really really sweet messages and things that nobody could really know unless they really were um, communicating with something that needed to deliver a message to me but overall it just struck really close to home because I'd already been thinking like that's really strange it's always the same person it's really strange that that's the message that they're conveying to me and I would never ever 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 dream that like I would never dream to stop Creating YouTube videos is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It wouldn't even be a remote subconscious thought within my brain. So I don't know what to think of it all. It's very strange. It's very creepy. I wanted to come on here and talk about it, not just for the sense of that I think there was a possibility that it happened to me, but also because I never really talked about that side of astral projection out of body experiences before, but it does exist and it does happen. Um, very few people use astral projection for that reason very very few people but there are people who they have friends that astral project as well and they'll like be able to sense each other's presence when they come into their space and it's not invasive because they know that they do it it's their way of practicing getting better at being within this realm but yeah, that's essentially i just i say essentially a lot i like that word <laughs> um that's basically all that i wanted to say i know it's kind of rambly it's kind of strange it sounds unbelievable but it is the truth whether or not that's really what it was i can't tell you i don't know please let me know in the comments below what you guys think if you think that it's just coincidental that it was just a dream state or if you think there's a possibility that could have been happening and if you think it is a possibility that it could have been happening please let me know why you think somebody would do that because i've tried to think of like a million reasons and i can't think well i can think of things but like i said far-fetched movie kind of silly but that is it for today's video if you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my videos, I would love it if you would join the Reese's Pieces. We believe in the unbelievable, clearly. <laughs> um, so if you believe in the unbelievable too or you just want to hear about it, we would love it if you would join our family. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it because like I always say, it makes my heart super, super happy when you guys do that and I really, really appreciate it. So please do that. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.